Hey everyone! Today I want to present you the Casebo Beach that can be found behind the Three Star California Dreaming Hotel in Mamaya North Constanza. My walk on this beach starts Tuesday morning at around 11 am and ends Sunday afternoon at around 3 pm. From the start I want to tell you that in this movie there are five different interesting moments, but to find them all, like usual, you have to watch the entire video. Ok, as you can see, Tuesday morning this beach was almost empty. And for this reason I decided to return here afternoon to see if the situation has improved in the meantime. The next part of the footage was made Tuesday afternoon at around 3 pm. And as you can see, I found here slightly more tourists than in the morning. As soon as I reached the Casebo beach, I started to walk in front of the main beach to film the first line of sunbeds, because I saw some activity there. After walking a few more yards in front of the main beach, I came across the first interesting moment of the video. In this case, I spent about 12 seconds to record the entire scene the proper way. Moving on, I found even more tourists sitting on some beds on this beach. After walking a few more yards, I came across the second interesting moment of the video. In this case, I spent another 12 seconds to record the entire scene the proper way. Reaching the end of the beach, I decided to return here Thursday morning to see how many tourists I can find on this beach before the weekend. Thursday morning at around 11 am I was back on this beach. This time I held the camera at an angle of 90 degrees because I wanted to show you details up to the last line of sunbeds. Thursday before noon I found here tourists on the second and the third line of sunbeds. However, after walking a few more yards in front of the main beach to film the first lines of sunbeds, I came across the third interesting moment of the video. In this case, I had to spend about 13 seconds because I had to record the entire scene the proper way. Right after that, I reached the end of the beach again. And for this reason, I decided to return here afternoon to see if I can find a larger number of tourists sitting on some beds on this beach. Thursday afternoon at around 3 pm, I was back on this beach. Afternoon, I continued to hold the camera at an angle of 90 degrees because this way you can see more details about each beach presented. After walking a few more yards in front of the main beach, I found the fourth interesting moment of the video. In this case, I spent about 14 seconds to record all scenes the proper way. Moving on, I found a larger number of tourists, girls, women, boys and men, sitting on some beds to tan, but also some beds covered by towels which means that the tourists who rented them were in the water the moment I passed by. Casebo Beach doesn't cover a large area of land. And for this reason, I reached the end of the beach again. Saturday morning at around 11 am, I was back on this beach. Being a cloudy and windy day, the main beach was almost empty. However, I decided to walk in front of it to film the tourists who dared to come to the beach in a cloudy and pretty cold day. The temperature was around 73 Fahrenheit or 23 Celsius at that hour. As you can see, on the left side of the beach there were only a few tourists sitting on the first lines of sunbeds. But after crossing the central alley of the beach, on the right side of the beach, I found more tourists sitting mainly on the first line of sunbeds. This time, I decided to film both the shore and the main beach because I wanted to show you that despite the fact that we were in the weekend, 
I didn't found tourists sitting on towels or blankets in front of the main beach. The next part of the footage was created Saturday afternoon when I put the camera in FPV mode. You see again a footage created in FPV mode because I wanted to present you this beach a few weeks earlier when I uploaded shorter videos with a length of only 2 or 3 minutes. However, in the meantime, I switched to longer videos. So now I can show you my entire walk on this beach, which also includes the footage filmed in FPV mode. Saturday afternoon I walked inside the main beach because I saw more people there. Here I almost catched an interesting moment. But uh, because we see only half of the person, I didn't create an interesting moment from this scene. Getting close to the end of the beach, I decided to return here in a sunny weekend day. Sunday morning being a sunny weekend day, I was back on this beach, thinking that I will find a larger number of tourists here. However, during the night and the morning, the Black Sea invaded the shore and reached the main beach. And for this reason, I didn't found tourists sitting on the first lines of sunbeds. I found a few tourists trying to take a bath in the Black Sea and children playing on the shore, but nothing else. For this reason, I decided to walk much closer to the sea to show you the waves and the fact that there are no algae in the water. Before reaching the end of the beach, I decided to return here afternoon because I was sure that I will find here much more tourists due to the warm weather perfect for sunbathing. Sunday afternoon at around 3 pm, I was back on this beach and right from the start I saw more tourists sitting on sunbeds than in any other day. I started my walk in front of the main beach where I quickly found the fifth interesting moment of the video. In this case I spent about 10 seconds to record the scene. Moving on I found more tourists sitting mainly on the second and the third line of sunbeds. After crossing the central alley of the beach, I found on the left side tourists sitting on the first line of sunbeds. Here I found many girls, women, boys and men sitting on some beds to get an even tan on the body. In the weekend I found a few more tourists than usual but to my surprise I didn't found this beach full of people. Thank you for watching.